and you know what that means. That's right, it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack, and we're officially caught up now. This is amazing. I'm so excited we actually can say we're officially caught up. It is the 4th of this month, and the video is for tomorrow. So yes, we're officially caught up. I'm so excited to be able to say that. Now, that being said, we are going back to energy drinks again because I found different ones. So something came across me when I was walking around Walmart the other day because I've been just spending a lot of time in Walmart lately trying to locate the AEW wrestling figures and those videos are coming in the future. But that being said, I do want to mention that I came across a brand called Adrenaline Shock, S-H-O-C, which is apparently the smart energy drink. So there are nine and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten variants of flavors. Ones we will not be doing today, unfortunately. Orange Freeze, Blue Raspberry, and Cotton Candy. They will be done in the future when I find them, but I was not able to locate them. And Watermelon, you guys know I'm not a big Watermelon fan. Even though I did like the Major Melon, it was really good. But I settled on these five, and we're going to set... The first one, which is called Shockwave. So these has essential aminos, BCAAs, electrolytes, and no sugar natural caffeine. It's apparently supposed to boost performance and recover your muscles, which is good because I've been working out and walking a whole lot lately and running a whole lot lately as well. No sugar, no calories, no artificial colors, and no chemical preservatives. Shock is a modern fitness enhanced energy drink and designed for your active lifestyle. Our natural smart energy blend is a guilt-free boost you need to help maximize your day. Reach your peak. Okay. So this is an, this is for eight ounces in a serving. This is what you're supposed to have. So uh, there's no fat, no carbs, no sugars, no protein. 105 milligrams of sodium. That's insane. It's an energy drink. What do you expect? 52 milligrams of potassium. 8 milligrams of niacin, vitamin B6 is 0.9 milligrams, Fol folic acid is, with vitamin B9 is 50 mcg, vitamin B12 and 11 milligrams of magnesium. So we're going to go ahead and try this. First one. Pop it open. See what shockwave smells like. It's got a pineapple smell to it. That's not a good sign. Not for me at least, but we're going to pour it into the taster glass. It's got a pineapple smell to it. It makes me very nervous because everybody knows I don't like pineapple. So let's try it. Oh. Oh, that's bitter. Mm, I have to get out of the can now. Oh, I'm not a fan of Shockwave. Oh my dad, that's terrible. Uh, what's next? Oh, I don't, we'll go to number two, which is gonna be Frozen Ice. Frozen Ice has, let me see if there's anything different about it. No, 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 no. Fantastic, nothing different. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. Hopefully it tastes better than Shockwave did. Pop it open and immediately. It smells like a soda. We'll try it, see what it tastes like. Like a Sierra Mist or a Sprite. This is good. I like it. Got like a Sierra Mist, a Sprite, and a Seven Up mixed together. Know what you're saying, Owen? There's the same thing, but still, I can mix them together. Yeah, frozen ice is good. I like it. It can stay. Sour candy's next. So it looks like this. This is sour candy. And pop it open. It smells like cardboard. <laughs> As I pour it into the glass. Let's try some. It 
It's like sour sweet tarts. It's not bad. Take a minute to get used to, but it's not bad. Yeah, I like it. It can stay. Up next is number five, which is a flavor that everyone knows I love, and that's fruit punch. Now, the only difference on this one is, unlike the other two that we had, this actually has 210 milligrams of sodium. Dear God, that is insanity. Uh, is there anything different? And 21 gram uh, milligrams of magnesium this time around, so that's a different. Nothing different. We're going to try it. It's going to be fruit punch. Smells like. Smells like fruit punch. Let's try it. See what it tastes like. Carbonated fruit punch. I like it. Shockwave is probably going to be the only loser, it looks like. That's good. Last but certainly not least, we have Akai or Aki. Akai? I think it's Akai Berry. So, it's back to the 105 milligrams of sodium like everything else. Except for, for some random reason, the fruit punch. Doesn't make any sense. Let's try it with the berry. It's got a berry smell to it. That's a good sign. Got a strong berry taste. It's got this weird aftertaste. It kind of tastes like the consistency of tar. I don't know why. It's just kind of there. So. It's not bad. So, yeah. If you're following along at home, this sucks. Shockwave is not good. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. Sour candy, solid, really good. Tastes like sour sweet tarts. Fruit punch, exactly what you're expecting it to taste like. Fruit punch. And frozen ice, literally just tastes like, like a Sprite, a 7-Up, or a Sierra Mist mixed together. And last but certainly not least, we have the Kai Berry, which I recommend all of these. They're all good. They're all worth your time. That's going to be your video for today. I want to join you tomorrow when we go back to award coverage here on Popcast Network. Ashley and AJ will be joining myself with a nice roundtable podcast to talk about the 2020 award season. Yes, movies for 2020. And for 2021, the Golden Globes, the Screen Actors Guild Awards, and the Film Independent Spirit Awards. That's going to be tomorrow. So that's going to be your video for tomorrow. And more Sip and Snacks coming in the near future. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs>